Hello and welcome back to another episode of Worm 40k Rogue Traders. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rogue Traders blind playthrough on Ultra Hard Unfair Difficulty. Um, I needed some rest and we're back and fresh and with that we are ready to go and eradicate more tech priests. Uh, yesterday's battle was long and fierce. But we finally did it. There is a fervor in my soul. We finally did it. They fear to look at me because of my My aspirations transcend humanity. Okay, got a couple of techno men uh mensers there. Let's just try to burn them to the ground. Here we go. Uh, not as much damage as I was hoping for. Alright, baby. Let's go. Abelard starts here. How do we go about it? We are essentially funneling into a lot of enemies. I don't like that idea. Who's going to be the frontliner here? Uh, I mean, Cyclon could move, then run and gun back. That's a possibility. We could also try to position ourselves here and take the ground. 50, 60, pff, Mad Magos, another 200, and a plasma pistol. Well, wonderful. Wonderful. 170. And these guys have normal weapons and a lot of servitors. Well, since we do have so many, like, normal servitors. Let's play it safe, okay? And we're going to put you here because then we can do, do the littlest stare. Argenta, Saiken, uh, Pascal is the first one to act, so... Can use him here. And then he's just positioning there afterwards and in the meantime debuffs a couple of enemies okay cool got a plan let's go backline all of this frontline all of this um Pesco moves in, and if we're if we're detecting enemies, how do we want to go about it? Um, listen, I could shoot. That's not too bad. Can I hit anyone? No, no, no. I think I need to. The Herald of Corruption is a bit of a problem. I need to down that thing. But if we move in here. That'll be bad I as well. And there's another Herald of Corruption there. Hmm. We can't leave them unchecked. Okay, so we got all of the zones laid out. I don't have a really good answer for breaking this. Other than we need to go in. The veil is already paper thin. So that's not going to work out very well. Overcharged Plasma deals some damage, but not that much. 
Can't hit the Herald. Can hit the Mad Magus, which I potentially should be doing. Sure, why not? That'll reduce his damage. And he's the one with a plasma pistol that has the most damage. Yeah. You know what? It's a turn. It's not a great turn, but it is one. I won't object to it. Never large. Naturally. Gets a buff, and we're pretty much done. The servitors are going to charge us, and now it's a matter of focusing them down. I mean, our gender could move here and then there. She... That's a possibility. I think I'd rather move her, move her out afterwards. Um... We're building up stacks couple of hits here I'll do it Mad Technomancer and As the commands, I act. we're focusing that I guy and then we're moving uh, back Grenade, more grenades. And I mean, we could give Pascal another, another turn if we wanted. Just dealing as much damage as we can. I am a navigator, not a surgeon. Nice little little stair. Debuffs all of them. And let's give Pascal another turn. Oh, I forgot to to update my healing. That is not good. Saiken, what are you doing? Um, good, we're giving ourselves stronghold here. Shooting position. And hit the techno uh, techno math. Reducing enemies damage. And we're good. Can Pascal move a little bit to the left? No, cannot. Need to heal him. Okay. 
There you go, you're tanking for us. Thank you for your service. Great hit. With your demise. And we could do this. Or alternatively, we could just scream the guy down. Or alternatively, we could try to kill him. But that wouldn't be. Uh. Let's build up stacks. Good hits, not perfect, but good hits, and we're getting back into cover. It was a good round. We are taking precautious measures. Uh, that servitor, we won't be getting him down anytime soon. Race for impact, and I'm wondering... Uh, shall we just go for the Herald of Corruption? I think the answer is yes. Let's move to here, even if that means we're taking some damage. Victory is imminent. These guys come to us. And... Wow, the damage is non-existent. Well, you gotta start somewhere. Good, we could definitely hit these guys back there. I think we should do that, to be fair. Um... Pascal takes them out. One Techno Priest less. Okay, we do have plenty of movement, uh, plenty of AP. Stronghold Stratagem here. Continuing to keep that Mad Mage uh, with low DPS. That and that. And that. And some extra damage. I won't object to it. For the throne's glory. There's a bit of a problem here. Um, I mean, we can continue to buff, but it's dangerous. The veil degradation is already quite high. Can't hit any of uh, them. Unfortunately, you can't like flop a grenade around the corner. We could charge in and try to get uh, one of those heralds down. The problem is, uh, we would likely be smooshed, and I don't want that. I hate to do it, but we're kind of standing Everyone back here for now. Aside. 
generally good clustering up. Give him hell. Come on. Couple of good hits. I like that. Free reload. Switcheroo. And yeah, we're just focusing on the servitor. I know it's a it's an uphill battle. I know I could charge in, but uh, the problem is we would be losing likely too much ground by doing that they really did a nice job in battlefield uh, manipulation we do have a couple of advantages playing it the way that we're currently playing it right uh, as in i get off a couple of really nice hits here Me? But equally, they are getting off uh, a very, very, very nice position overall. Two little stairs. We finally got the Mad Mage. And the servitors aren't looking that hot either. Abelard gets his turn. Hits the Herald and hits it very well. It will be done. And do keeps everybody on him. That's well, as much as I could ask. He can I could heal himself, but I think we're fine. Just a minor setback. Can hit that herald oh fantastic we're going to do exactly that can't hit anyone else really what I could do is heal someone And that here should give us another shot, right? No, it does not. It just gives you new AP. Ah, uh, learned something. That's unfortunate. I was hoping that the uh, that the four MP and so on will give you something. We can at least uh, reload, so that's fine. But unfortunately, you can't do any other attack option. Okay, we are slowly but surely getting this thing down. Not only slowly, but we're actually getting it down. Wonderful. We need to think about our defenses. We need to continue keeping all of them on us. And... We are making you our sworn enemy, because what that does is we'll get more AP next turn, which is great. Joe. Moving this, uh, this a little bit. Um, oh, that's a good hit. I like it. Give us defense. Hit. Fabulous hit, by the way. More hit for the servitor. Uh, 
And everybody gets a buff. Pascal is just killing it. Love it. That Herald is still spitting out mad extra hit points. But I won't be deterred. But of course, Lord Captain. I think now is the right time to slowly but surely move in. I might regret that, but Heinrichs is an assassin after all, and I want to play him as one. Seventeen, twelve, all right. I won't object. Good hit. Ah, I should have uh, used my opening. All right, that's decent damage. Ah, uh, well, he's now standing in the way. Uh, not cool. But, you know what? Might not be the right target anyways. Hmm. Alright, that's kind of our commitment here. Alright, let's go. Couple of good hits, I like it. We're switching. I'll do it. That Herald is now taking the hits. You, my Emperor, faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> Herald is taking more hits. Um, you know what? Her let's use the heroic the right away. Is a Herald gone. And the other herald is gone. I think overall that that was a worthwhile attempt. Moving to here, which makes us get out of um, out of way from there. As the emperor commands. And we're focusing down that one servitor. Okay, we're slowly getting there. We're starting to move our way in. Step aside. The navigator is coming. It's all of them. Uh, it's all of them just again. And who deserves an extra turn? Good question. I think Arganta could do with one. These little Vox skulls are support units. I figured that out by now. Another herald, okay. Well, can we hit it from here? No, can't hit the cover either, but we can hit this guy, we can hit him very, very well. So, excuse me, but you need to die, Mr. Magus. 20 hit points, not too bad. I will triumph. This is beneath me. Yep, 
He has good defenses, so let's crack down on them. A little bit of armor break. He's helpful. Ruin. And get the Vox Skulls closer to us. Avalard moves up, Let me help. heals Heinrichs because uh, that's how we're rolling, At your back and call. gives himself some range defense because that's how we are rolling as well, I will do my duty. and delightfully smack into that servitor. Pascal, <coughs> well. Backline uh, stays where it's at. <clears throat> That's fine. Can't use the plasma overcharge at the moment. But we can hit the servitors. We can also hit him, and that's actually really good damage. Hitting him. And hitting him even more. The Mad Magus is going down. Scouting everyone just to make it easier to uh, to hit them. All right. Continuing to buff. That's a good one. We want that opening here. And Heinrich is hitting the servitor. Not a lot of damage, but it's okay. I, I would much rather like to hit that uh, Met Technomancer, but we're somewhat uh, stuck in melee with all of these servitors, so we first of all need to remove them, and then we can do our job. And they're hitting quite hard, so I'd rather be careful here. Um, one shot. Love it. And then let's see if this is this hidden. No. As the emperor commands. Oh, we we were hitting our own. Uh, mm, Friend Cassia, ah, that's not good. Okay, that was a good one. Cassia is healing, so we're fine. Or well, she is fine. Hitting less people with a stair. Oh, nice. We hit that Technomancer. Fair enough. And you know what? Let's give Argenta another turn, which uh, she can use in order to heal us. That's good. And start getting that Mac tech, uh, Mad Technomancer taken care of. I'll do it. <laughs> As the Emperor commands, this is Couple of free sense. shots. Oh yeah, once Wildfire is going, there is no turning back. It's just fantastic. Okay, we have figured out how to how to beat them once. Let's start to beat them again. Purpose guides me. 
Saiken hits these guys nicely. The Mad Magus should come to us and we can't uh, reload. Um, yeah, we're okay. Abelard, make sure that all of them uh, are staying on him. And starts hitting two of the servitors, just maximizing DPS here. We're repositioning the zone, increasing the power of our zone. Um, the Mad Mage nicely moved out of cover, but I'm not going to take that. That's unacceptable. Mad Mage continues to take damage. We're hitting him. And we're good. Heinrichs. Uh, gives everybody a nice little defense buff. Then opens up the servitor. Oh yeah, and he's starting to deal damage. I like that. It's not huge amounts, but... It's definitely good. And he's spending most of his <clears throat> AP just to keep everybody alive, right? So that in itself needs to account for something. That's one. That's two. That's a reload. And that's number three. This is why I was chosen. We're getting a lot of momentum here. <coughs> no, to more conservative tactics. Uh oh, Abelard. Little stair into another lit list there good uh, one down Shift, and another one down. Good job, Saiken. And we're not using the heroic ability. I don't think that now is the right time. Uh, might be on Abelard, to be fair. He could use it. Um... He's just trying to stay alive and uh, hit the servitors. There we go. First strike does not uh, does not hit. Oh, that guy is parrying it all. Finally, finally, we're getting through. Yeah, we don't want more hits to cure. Pascal. Make sure that that servitor regrets his life choices. Okay, everybody here takes some defense um, and 
get we're moving up target. I won't object to it let's see and are starting to engage that vo uh, vox school as the emperor commands great hit I'll do it Gets one down, reloads, and we're Gucci. Okay, I think we got that battle in our back. Just a minor setback. That and that. And. Give our Genta another turn. If you insist, Lord Captain. That and the Emperor commands, I act. more wildfire. Faith without deeds is worthless. Right. I need no guidance. I will triumph. Saiken so gets two extra turns. Accept my one offering. purpose guides me. Death two and the last herald is finally, finally gone. What a nasty combination. Alright. Moving on. At your beck and call. Charge into the enemy. Hit the enemy. It will be done. That. And that. Victory is imminent. Fantastic. Alright, free repositioning. Of the zones, here you go. Okay, that Vox call is giving us a little bit of a difficulty. All right, Pascal is a beast against mechanical units. For the throne's glory. But of course, Lord Oh, well, we only have 3 AP. My bad. The enemies of the Emperor. Agenda continues to be a beast here as well. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, none can escape the Emperor's judgment. Just overall crazy amounts of actions. Once you do have all of your stacks. Wow. Rain and beauty go hand in hand. I have read Good, the Technomancer is the last one standing. And we could get him out of his hiding ground. Nice. Well, I was a. Uh, that was working way better than I have expected. Good. Got a nice little plasma pistol. But it is. It was a dangerous uh, proposition to charge in here. Might have not looked like much, but imagine if we would have gone in, the servitors and everybody would have uh, would have attacked us at the same time. And we would have been caught right out of position, so that's not good. Alright, we're getting more healing on our front line. Saiken gets healing as well, and one more of these things. Uh, Pascal was the one who could have used the healing the most. Didn't have it though, uh, so now we're adding it back up to him. 
and extra grenades on Cassia would be good for her action economy. I keep coming back to that conclusion. We need someone with grenadier. I see the forbidden. The Emperor sets my path. It's also interesting that all of a sudden there are traps everywhere. The Emperor favors me today. Searching is my observance. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Duty prevails. Oh yeah, well, you couldn't find more traps, could you? Hidden in the heart, turn all to decay. Never doubt me. Intriguing. All right, continuing to move up, really. Over there. Acquisition possible. Oh, holy. In prayer. Well, this is going to be interesting. The light of terror shines for us. I better myself through my service. Wait, before we're before we're going, uh, shall I read? Hmm. Good question. We have a couple of we have a couple of wounds. I think we can return. The world trembles beneath my feet. Good. Just filling up the wounds, getting back onto that uh, space hulk. Our team is good. I like the composition. I like how it uh, how it plays. The one thing that we could use is maybe a second um, tankish character. At Let's the moment, Heinrichs the is taking too much damage, but we have not taken Vanguard for him. So he's likely not going to be that character. Pascal could be that character. Okay, nice. We have zero cover here. Ascension has only just begun. Maybe over here. Hmm. How do we fight that? This definitely looks like something we need to fight. Okay, this here might be cover. The world will bow. In which case, our damage dealers are standing over here. And we might put a zone like here, and then Pascal stands in there as well. I guide humanity between the stars. Do you require inquisitorial approval? Okay, well. Sort of got our backline and frontline figured out. Uh, the one thing that we have not figured out is how to deal with these guys. Um, Request approved. What advice do you seek? Tiberius Malha. The air in the room is a permea uh, permeated uh, by a wild mixture of miasmas of both mechanical and biological organ. Blood rust, vomit, machine oil, excrement, kerosene, all these smells blend together in a thick stench that feels palpable. Just as the air in here, the one mad tangle of odors, uh, the device in front of you is a mishmash of wriggling wires, transplanted fragments in all clutter. One could almost miss the component, a heavily augmented uh, man whose upper body is assembled into the frame of a machine, dozens of wires piercing his flesh. 
Uh, Tiberio says, who are you disturbing the peace of the holy martyrs of the home of our grief? What do you want? The symbols of your brethren protect themselves uh, from the symbols of chaos. Your knowledge is a lacking invader. Those are the secret holy symbols imparted by our armless sire. How else would my tech comrades have survived if not by their protection? Um, there is no fate more honorable than the uh, pugiation through suffering in the name of faith, but you were uh, deceived by the servant of the Omnissiah. Uh, wake up, the signs are clear, you and your brethren have fallen prey to chaos. The man's clear-eyed fade for a moment, There's still lack of understanding, but there is a hint of surprise. He slowly looks around the room um, uh, into his own mangled body. His vox hisses as if he's struggling to say something. Suddenly, the mingled stench in the room is drowned by a sharp, piercing smell of ozone and uh, grease. You sense the no nauseating atmosphere that prevailed in the room has condensed into a single point of evil in the depths of the ship and now it's hurling towards you. No way. No way. You are kidding me, right? Holy moly. Oh, wow. What does this guy do? Uh, suffers damage first time around, becomes enraged, and shoots back after every additional attack. Yeah, that's the type of stuff that I don't want to see. Um, got a nice little twin plasma cannon. A.K.A. Go F yourself. That's not good. And he deals a lot of damage with that 1920. Okay, Abelard. He's going to be the tank. This troop over here seems fine. I don't know about the servitors. They still have a super heavy punch. Uh, we need to somehow reduce their impact. There's another servitor. Hmm. I unfortunately can't put Cassia anywhere really safe. Well, I, I mean, I could put her here, I suppose. But then, if this guy moves up, we're completely locked in. Nah, we're not going to do that. Let her stay where she's at. Good. Our defense zone. Then. I would like our offensive zone to be here. Cogitation failed. A little bit of backline there. I think I need to debuff the Forge Fiend. As much as it sucks. My vow is to serve. 45%. Try it. Wow, he hits so hard. And let's just reduce his damage. Um yeah, well, well.
I don't know. That was not good. Heinrichs is down to one hit point. Oh wow. I'll do it. Rejoice in battle. Let me tend to your Pascal wounds. is not allowed to fall. Um look. We could get uh, that servitor down, that would be great. Likely not going to happen immediately, but I'll take the 50-50. Okay. Uh, didn't happen. Commands, I act. No, can't, no, can't do that. Well, I can. Technically, I can. Could do something along the lines of this. But it really, really needs to be only there. Can't do that. Can do that, though. Because else... Heinrich would uh, die. He's down to one hit point. The fun of... losing all of the hit points in round one, eh? Is that a stun grenade? Falls prone for one round, which would give her a chance to move off. Yeah, but I need versatility stacks, so we can't be... Beggars can't be choosers. Couple of hits, that's good. All right, Heinrich's super effed. I needed that for the throne's glory. Heinrich just moves out aside. of uh, uh, out of the position here to become a less attractive target. This guy is a problem. Um, Isn't this a job for the serfs? But it's not a problem if you're forcing him to move away. Then it is no longer one. Fantastic. Which brings me to the question of what do we do with Cassia? This could provoke a counter attack. But then again, there aren't that many things that we can do. Heinrichs needs hit points, I'll give him that. And we need to kill the servitors. Me. This is a debuff for everyone, including the Forge Fiend. Could have used uh, Press the Advantage, but we're fine, I can still use it next turn. Servitors got a debuff, we're good. Pascal is back in action. Fifty percent chance to kill the servitor. Of course, that fifty percent is a whooping miss. I will triumph. Purpose guides me. tribute. But luckily, our psi powers hit him nonetheless so we're good we're in a okay-ish position Heinrich's pretty mangled but if that's what it takes uh, we're fine Abelard um, braces for done. impact because I do have the feeling that that will happen now
could run in. Sure, let's go. Parries, okay. I just barely can't reach these guys so close, but it will be done. Let's scream. Is the forge fiend on us? No, it's not. Victory I need it to become our sworn enemy. It will be done. And it's parrying our attacks. But maybe that provokes its anger. But maybe that provokes his anger. Uh, can't heal Heinrich, so he's on his own. What we can do is uh, shift the zone slightly. Then we're definitely doing defensive zone here. Then we're hitting these guys, and we're hitting them very well with our plasma. Thank you. Uh, continuing to debuff the Forge team because I don't see it, how else we're going to go through this. And the Servitor is almost down. We really are close to getting him down. There's the stun. Uh, stun. Slam. Servitor school, we need to get you. Faith without deeds is worthless. That was good. I'll do it. As Continue the to hit. Commands, I act. Barely not. Continue to it. hit. Ah, oh, come on! So close. Walk school almost done. Yeah, for starters, Heinrichs needs to heal himself. He could sacrifice. Not sure. Not sure what to do here. That's a really good hit for him. to here hits this guy that's good that was helpful and we can give ourselves 11 this here is just five temporary hit points uh -huh. this would be strength and toughness I think he's just healing himself that way, a little bit strength, and yeah, that's as good as healing as the healing kit would have uh, gotten us. Can we hit? Yeah, Pascal can uh, can take an action. All right, action over to uh, to you, Pascal, <clears throat> because that would be this plus 
a very solid hit. One servitor is down. And what are we doing with the other one? Scouting him, and we're finally taking a shooting position. Okay, one more servitor, and then I think we should be good. One step closer. 95% misses. That's not good. Servitor is anyways coming into our direction. I think we're just I going to reload. Triumph. The healing is much appreciated. At your back and call. Uh, I think we will keep that machine on us. It is now officially taunted for three rounds. That's good. Uh, even if that means that Ab uh, Abelard is not taking any action. That's still good. I uh, need to debuff the Forge uh, theme. There is no way around it. Good hits. Yeah, and we're starting to <coughs> we're starting to scan the forge uh, fiend. There's the hit. Four points of damage. It's getting more instead of less. is in a really really poor position I wish we could just take Heinrichs first don't want to give up her turn all right well that's Faith the best we can do one as the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt Two. Is for the weak. As the Emperor commands, I act. And let's make sure that only this guy is being hit. Faith without deeds is work. Very good. We're building up the versatility stacks. We're at uh, a lot now. Heinrichs heals himself. I won't object to it. And where shall we begin? I don't like running away a lot, but it is effective. Let's deal damage. I am a good hit. Very good hit. Saiken gets a buff and Pascal gets an extra round. Fantastic. We're only down to the boss. When I'm saying only, uh, that kind of sounds like it's now going to be trivial. It is not. It's actually not uh, trivial at all.
Good, look. Um, not 100% sure we've dealt damage to him. If I would want to see him dealing damage to us again. I think it is immune to knockdown, right? Comet Master, creature... Uh, this creature switches negative effects. Staggered instead of suffering stunned. Becomes slowed instead of immobilized. Immune to falling prone. Yeah, it looks like someone who is immune to falling prone with four legs and that size. Ruin beckons. I won't waste my time on that. Good, let's Ravage and get conquer. into safety here. Okay, no, 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 we're not uh, doing that. Nah, we're not doing that. Um, any buff that uh, Saiken has for anyone? The answer is no. Abelard needs to tank this, so we can't, we just can't let uh, anything stop us from doing that. It will be done. No, 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 dude. You're moving to here because you need healing. Activate calculus fury algorithm. Yeah, field medicine at its finest. The spectrum prognosis is favorable. Okay, well, Pascal almost passes out here. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. The healing is much appreciated. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. I don't know. <clears throat> this guy is tough. As the Emperor commands, I act. I refuse. Doubt is for the weak. Let's see. The Emperor commands. <laughs> Couple of good hits. Couple of excellent hits. Um, can we continue attacking it, or is it uh, attacking back? Attacking back, and it's not good. One, two, Let's see heal. This. I think we just need to be careful here continue to heal glory. that forge fiend is dealing too much damage it just is i'm not accustomed to being ordered around i mean look 10 to 13 is a joke uh, that's not good enough Abelard used the time to heal himself. Slightly moves to here. Puts forge, uh, puts uh, the fiend up. The enemy that is, and uh, Cassia is not doing half. This whole situation is so messed up. We need Pascal, so we can't just ignore him. Seventy points of damage is nice. But it is enraged, so 
It's a no thank you type of deal. How does it read? Is it any type of... Uh, is it any type of attack? Damage first round becomes enraged and strikes back after every additional attack suffered this round. Well, I think that that includes every single one. I don't know how to debuff him even more without uh, regularly attacking him. Well, that's my problem. I could deal damage. 34 is very, very good. But... I think we just need to painfully go through that. Is Forge Fiend still taunted? Yes, it is. Which means we are making sure that we're not uh, hit. We're making sure it stays our arch enemy. And we have, we don't even have healing on ourselves. Is a heroic uh, act going to trigger the return attacks? I don't know. I mean, at some point we need to do something. 88 hit points. Come on, I can't do that. Right? Okay, we have dodged it. It's never going to be that uh, debuffed Victory. again. Parrying, okay. Good, Pascal is back in action. Love it. We're going for full cover here. This here seemed to have worked relatively speaking well. As the Emperor commands, I act. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Cassia was in the way. Should have known that. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. But of course, Lord Captain. Yeah, the problem is that was that was not well thought through. Um, Cassia heals herself. Isn't this a job for the serfs? And gives Fine. Pascal a new turn. <coughs> Pascal. For starters. Uses the stratagem, debuffs the fiend, opens armor on the fiend, and that's pretty much what he can do. We could try to do that, just continuing to deal damage. I mean, at some point, we need, right? At some point, we need to. To deal damage. One step closer. Thirty points is good. I will triumph. That burns it and makes it take damage. I think the psi attacks do not trigger for whatever reason. Which is good to know, because that now gives us the window of opportunity we've been waiting for. Uh, that thing is no longer taunted, uh, first of all. Taunting Scream into... yep. Having it back. 
Abelard moves up, that, that, and personal enemy, and here we go. How? Why? Okay, Pascal, my dude. Yeah, this is too clustered. <coughs> Although we could... Here's an idea. We could mass scout him. Uh, that always gives exploits and... Enemy suffers a dodge penalty. Sounds good. And a continue, uh, continuing debuff. Yeah, that, I mean, that's good. Good enough. I'll do it. Okay, no, 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 not cool. Faith without deeds is worthless. Uh, we can't really heal anyone. It can't be prone. Yeah, new. Let's see to it for the throne's glory. Naturally. Pascal continues to be healed. Uh, and you know, I think Saiken, you, you are best suited to deal with that situation. And Saiken on his turn Ruin beckons. can dish out damage, that's fine, without provoking reactions. Ends his turn. Takes a full turn, and we're just screaming it to death. I need no guidance. Almost down to twenty-four. Satisfying oh, so satisfying. Uh, Magus Timberius, uh, Tiberius, evil that was an evil incarnate, evil the corruption that watches us uh, day and night. You've banished the evil, you've tried to warn me, but I was deaf. The ship, uh, Kiava Gamma, it followed us from there. Kiava Gamma, that's where the ship was from. Yep, the ship and the planet. The traitors among the brethren, tormented in a sacred mechanism, letting corruption seek into their system. They turned uh, that which was holy to unholy. We managed to flee, but one of the monsters found its way onto the ship. We fought, we cut off the module, one after the other, cut away the rotting flesh, but it followed its invisible influence to corruption. It could not save us from the evil. So we gave up the ship to the darkness amongst the stars. But when the darkness came for us in the last um, module, we were intended to make our last stand, and I sacrificed myself, became a filter, stopper against the corruption. The corruption came uh, for our souls. The fabricator Senso it all started with him. He was the one who let the taint into the sacred code. All right, rest in peace, my friend. I was part of the great force that drives the universe. I do not fear the cold of death. Oh yeah. Ruinous favor prevails. Good. What did we get? A diagnoser gives 15 medica. Uh, medica. That's not bad. Uh, I noticed, for instance, 
that uh, some of our characters do have a problem with healing properly uh, such as our tank and for him uh, the medica is well well taken after that last battle we used a lot of medicine it's incredible how quick these med kits go out We got ourselves a headhunter's light carapace. Um, that looks like something we could use. That actually looks like something we could very well use. Um, let's see. Lots of base armor and dodge. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Awareness. Uh, does she have a lot of awareness? She does have a lot of awareness. So that all gets onto dodge on top of it, which is great. So it's a really good um, suit of armor for her. I would say the loot does not necessarily reflect the difficulty of what we have gone through. I was expecting a little bit tougher uh, loot or a, bit, a little bit uh, better loot here, but the opponent was really, really tough. He gave it his all and at some point before I found out that you could just Psy Blast him, I was uh, worried that we couldn't do it. But once I understood uh, that Psy doesn't count as an attack, we were Gucci all of a sudden. We could um, actually kill him. Nasty abilities. And uh, the Space Hulk is uh, done for. We got a Desert World. We got uh, the Space Hulk. And we're doing very well for ourselves. I think uh, we're going to explore the other planets. But that happens in the next episode. For now, I have to thank you for joining me. And uh, if you don't want to be a metal-like uh, aberra uh, aberration then uh, you better click that like button because he is protecting and cleaning the invisible influence that we have heard about uh, from Magus, uh, Tian or something something. See you in the next episode and have a good one. Bye bye.